At Google I.O. 2025 last week, they announced incredible new stuff, new features and new models. Although they did not mention explicitly Google tools, it is now free publicly available and you can test it out. So that's what we do in this video and I show you how to do this. Before we test it out and I show you how it works on the real project, let's go through the blog article where they mention all the features and how it works. This is the blog article. I will share it in the description below if you want to take a look. I copied it to Napkin AI so we get some um, some nice graphics here and yeah, you can see better with visualizations. Okay, that's the announcement. Um, originally, it was uh, announced last year in December, but it was not publicly available. So last week on 20th May, they announced that it is now available. You can test it out in beta mode with some restrictions and that's what we do. Um, here in short, what is tools and what can, what can it do? So it's an asynchronous agentic coding assistant. So unlike others, like Bolt.diy, for example, it spins up a virtual machine for your project and then programs there. So we can here in this visual visualization shortly see what it can do for you. So it can write tests, it can build features, it can do an audio change log, which is actually at the moment not working. I tried it out, but looks like they have a high traffic and disabled this feature for now. It can fix bugs and bumping versions. What also is important tools is private by default, so it does not train the models with your private code. So if you have private uh, GitHub repositories coupled with tools, they don't use it for training. Also important, Tools is, is using Gemini 2.5 Pro in the backend to, to do all the stuff. It can handle complex multi-file changes and concurrent tasks with speed and precision. So you can, you can tell it to do multiple tasks at the same time. So we will see this later. So here's a short overview over the features. So the audio summaries I already mentioned, which is currently not working. We have a real code database because it accesses your GitHub project directly. You have parallel executions. You have a visible workflow because it does a planning and then asks you if the plan is okay for you. And if yes, it starts the implementing. We have the GitHub integration as mentioned. You have user steerability. So you can modify the plan before it actually starts implementing. You can tell it to change things and replan it. So at last here we can see the complete development process they mentioned in the article. So it's setting up a development environment. So spinning up the, the VM. It connects to GitHub or you have to choose a connection and select your projects. Create a branch, a new branch where you push your changes. Then you prompt a task. Then you approve the tools plan or tell it to uh, change some stuff and then approve it which is the give feedback option here. And then you can manage the tasks and get your results. Okay, now with some theory done, let's go to the actual website, to the web app. It's tools.google and you come to this page where you got some more information or the same as we saw in the blog article, GitHub integration, virtual machine, test suite, and show the work and at the end or at the in the header you can try tools click the button here i'm already logged in but you can just log in with your google account or create a new one and then you see this screen as you can see here i already connected two projects or if it access to two of my projects from my github repository you have uh, no projects by default but you can add them here at repository. Then it asks you for the uh, GitHub account. You select one and then choose your projects. After this, you see your projects here. You select the one you want to change. And then you can also change uh, the branch you want to work on. In my case, I want to work on the main because I also have a stable one here. For the task list advance, you may know from my other videos. And then you can start uh, doing your changes. Let's do a simple change here to the code base and just change the, the base color to red. 
So we can take a quick look to the task list at once. That was wrong. So it's all blue and we just want to change it to red. Or magenta as my YouTube channel colors are. So let's uh, change the base color of the web app to magenta and that of blue. We click then give me a plan and it starts working. As you can see here, it's now booting up the virtual machine where it does all the changes. As we also can see in the bottom left, we have a daily task limit at the moment for a free version, for the beta version. And this is just five tasks. So you can do five a day. It's pretty limited, but it's enough to test it out. And I think they will announce this year some pricing and plans for this as well. Okay, it did now the finish the planning. As you can see here, it tells us what, what it will change in detail. And we can now approve the plan or tell it to, to change something. We will approve it for now. As you also can see, it auto approves it in one minute. Let's choose approve. And wait to finish. While this is running, we can also go here on the left side to the code base. So let's click task list advance. And we can all see all tasks we did for this project. We can do here new project, new task as well. And we can see our completed task. I already did two tests here. And here's our current where we can see the progress. And here on the right side is what I mean. The audio podcast or codecast is actually not working at the moment. It says it's coming soon. So yeah, we need to stay tuned and wait for this in the future. But we know this from uh, Notebook LM, also from Google. I showed this in this video. They have the, the podcast function and I guess that's nearly the same here just for your code base. So if you curious what it is, maybe take a look at this video and check it out. So what else we can do here, we can click on configuration. We can do uh, initial setup with some basic commands for the VM to run tests and the code. We can click validate and do some testing and it's now successful. So we have set our initial setup configuration. But this was there by default, I did not change. So I guess you can change if you have special commands, you want to make sure they are executed, but you don't need to. Okay, while this is running, we can also go to the documentations here on the bottom left, where you can get more information, how it works, how to set up everything. We just click quickly through, but you can definitely read this to get a more in-depth view on this and how it works. You also can see here a bit how the code cast works and how it looks like. Okay, back here to the main task, we can see it working on. It is working here on the changes. We can already see the changes in the files and can directly review them. We can make it bigger here and see what the changes is. Go through it and at the end we can review it. Um, Why this is running, we can go to my other changes I did before. So let's go to this one. Because that's already done. It took about 50 minutes, I guess. <clears throat> let's go to the top. So I asked it to do three changes for the task list advanced. So change the application with by 25%. Remove the beta batch here on top. So this one and make this one 25% bigger because a little bit small when we open the task list. And also enable deep linking for the task list. At the moment, if you open a task list example, you don't have it in the URL. So you cannot directly link to this uh, example list. So I have on my YouTube videos just the link to the basic app and you have to click yourself on the example. And this I want to change so you can click on it 
and directly go to a specific task list. So this was done. It did the planning as said before. I approved the changes. It did all the changes. It would also run all the tests in the project and make sure that they are valid and done properly. I don't have tests in this case, so that's okay. And after it is done, it asks you to push it to the, a new branch. You click push. You can see it if the other task is ready. But for this, I already did it. And we can click view branch. And as you can see, it created this new branch in my GitHub repository. And we can now check it out and test if it, everything is working. It's a little bit bad that there is no direct preview in Google tools, as we know from lovable bolt.new bolt.dy. So you have to push it to GitHub and check it out there and cannot directly see the results here in tools. But I guess they will, I hopefully, I hope they will change it in the future and enable also uh, a browser so you can see your preview. Okay, as said before, we have to check it out. I already have my task list advanced here on my PC. I'm now in the folder. And we just go into a CMD to get pull to get the latest changes. And yeah, get the latest stuff, get branches. Branch. You can see the branches here is my UI deep linking as just shown. Hit check out feed UI deep linking. Okay, I now change to this branch. Let's quickly install it. The dependencies with pnpm install. pnpm run dev. To run the application and let's see if everything is working. And skip the intro and yeah we can see it's a little bit bigger the beta batch is removed and let's click on a example list yeah it loaded the, the list and we can also see it's now in the url so we can now deep link single list directly as you also can see here in my chat history this was a one shot, so I did not iterate. It was just one shot and it was pretty good. I tried this with Porter New also, but it did not work with one shot. So I'm pretty impressed. I did not saw, think it works that good on the first time and does the changes exactly as I want them. Back to our initial change or tasks. We started with the magenta color. You can now see it's done. It took 10 minutes. I guess this will also get faster in the future if it's not better and you have to pay for it and you get more resources to do it faster, I guess. So you get the ready for review thing here and you can see all changes and then you can publish the branch. Let's do this. And then we will see we get a new branch here in my task list. So here it is, just came in. Let's open it. Then we can quickly. Oh, this was the wrong one. Then let's get full again. So we get the new branch. You can see here we got it. Okay. Check out style. The theme. PMPM install again and F again. And let's see. Yeah. And as you can see, this worked as well. So we worked on the main branch, so the beta batch is back. I did not merge this already. But this worked also very good. Maybe also to mention, this is a competitor of OpenAI Codex. If you check this out for 
Now you have to pay $200 at OpenAI to use that or to try it out. Google Choose is for free at least at the moment. And we have to see how much they will charge for this as soon as the pricing is out. But I hope not that much. I think it's a pretty cool tool and I need to check this out a little bit more. Test this in more use cases, but I will definitely, definitely use it. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Did you test it out? Will you try it out now? Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.